What's going on everyone? It's Memorial Day. The subject of this video will be about food. The things that we eat and put into our bodies that help us grow, give us our energy, and live. You can see this article says Obama has signed the Monsanto Protection Act. That's just basically a nickname for it, pretty much, I would call it. Now, who is Monsanto? Well, let's cover that. They were formed in, uh, I believe, 1901 by John Francis Queenie. They're a publicly traded multinational agricultural biotechnology corporation headquartered in Creve Coeur, Missouri. They own almost all seeds. I said almost. I didn't say all of them. There are some some untampered st seeds still in the world. When God made seeds in the beginning and put everything here, the very DNA of the seed was designed according to Him, so it could be good for all who who ate it. Now, what Monsanto has done is they have genetically altered the DNA of the seed the very fabric of what makes it what it is and, and makes it good for you and me. They've chained the genes in it. And when you eat it, it's changing your genes, it's changing my genes, it's changing everybody's genes. That's why we're getting cancer more and gastrointestinal illnesses and God knows a host of other sicknesses. The excuse being that uh, they're resistant to pesticides and bugs and such and they can get more of a yield so they produce more food. True though that may be, Monsanto doesn't seem to give two cents for what it does to the human being. The farmers basically every year have to buy their seeds from Monsanto most farmers and they have had lawsuits against Monsanto, Monsanto against them about cross-pollination, your seeds getting in my crop, vice versa. I've not found one case yet to where Monsanto has lost. I've not found any farmers that have beaten Monsanto. <clears throat> So right here, they're the first to genetically modify a plant cell. Pioneer in biotechnology industry business model, the agriculture. You can come down here. This is just a simple little place you can come and read a little bit about them. There are other sources, but this is just a, your generic Wikipedia. It's talking about their founding. The first product was sac saccharin. And that got sold to Coca-Cola. They expanded in 1919 to Europe. Partnership here, Chemical Works and Sefin Mar to produce vanillin aspirin and its raw ingredient, salicylic acid, and later rubber processing chemicals. In the 20s, they were into sulfuric acid and PCBs. They actually founded and incorporated a town called Monsanto in Illinois, but it's Saugat now. They've also marketed polyurethanes, partnering with Bayer to form Mobay. I'm just skimming this. There's a lot of information in here. You can read every single thing here. In 
In 85, they acquired G.D. Sierra Land Company, a life science company focusing on pharmaceuticals, agriculture, and animal health. In 93, Searle Division filed a patent for Celebrex. They became a blockbuster drug. And Pfizer bought their agriculture or their pharmaceutical business in 2002. They introduced a recombinant version of bovine, somatotropin, Postlac. They sold that to Eli Lilly. They purchased a gracious biotech company, generated the first transgenic varieties of cotton, soybeans, peanuts, and other crops. And they already had a license. Since 91, they first entered the made seed seed business. They purchased 40 percent of DeKalb in 96. Purchased the rest in 98. 98 purchased Cargill seed business. 51 countries that they had access to in 2005. Purchased of Seminus Vegetable and Fruit Seed Company. This made it the world's largest conventional seed company at that time. 2007, BASF and Monsanto announced a long-term agreement to cooperate in the research, development, and marketing. You have your spin-offs and mergers. In 05, they acquired Emergent Genetics and the Stoneville and NextGen Cotton Brands. Their goal was to obtain a strategic cotton, germplasm, and traits platform. And then, let's see, in 08 they purchased the Dutch seed company, De Reuter Seeds. Sold Pozilac to Elanco Animal Health, a division of Eli Lilly. So they've made their own little monopoly. And that's what they're into. They're into genetically altering the seeds that produce the plants for the vegetables and the fruits that we eat, the feed that the animals eat, and it changes their genetics too whenever they eat it, and then we eat them. It's a domino principle. So are you okay with the very fabric the very code of what made you you that God Almighty created with his fingerprint. Are you okay with them changing it without your permission or your knowledge? Because your food doesn't have any labeling on it to tell you you're buying and going to eat something that has been genetically modified from the way it's supposed to be. This particular article talks about how in March, or this is a March 28th article talking about the bill that Obama signed into law that will benefit, which maybe you've seen it already, it will benefit Monsanto. It was a spending bill and 78 pages within the bill is a provision that grossly protects biotech corporations such as Monsanto from court getting sued and since he signed that these companies this Monsanto is genetically modified organisms genetically engineered seeds they get to go ahead to plant and sell the, their crops even as questions remain unanswered about the health risks these types of products pose to, to everyone Obama ignored the petition, instead choosing to sign a there's a petition against it, instead choosing to sign a bill that bars the fe, bars federal courts from being able to halt the sale or planning of GMO or genetically altered crops, GE crops, or excuse me, genetically engineered, and seeds no matter what health consequences from the consumption of these products may come to light in the future. Did you get that? 
bars the federal court from being able to halt the sale or planting of GMO or GE crops and seeds no matter what health consequences from the consumption, eating them. Well, that's immunity. That is saying no matter what it does to people, animals, plants, or anything, nothing can be done to you. And I'm okay with it and I'm signing this bill. And he did. The USDA oversaw and approved the testing of genetically modified seeds while the federal courts retain the authority to halt the testing or sale of these plants if it felt that public health was being jeopardized and with H.R. 933 now a law the court system no longer has the right to step in and protect the consumer. Isn't that great? And this guy is Senator Roy Blunt, a Republican who worked with Monsanto to craft the language in that bill. There's his mug right there. There's Roy Blunt. Get a good look at him. He is not your friend. Missouri, he's not your friend. And that it goes on to talk a little bit more about the bill and everything in here. A little bit about Roy Blunt. Did he know it was in there? Blah blah blah. They don't care, they're on the tank, they're getting paid. Now this, <clears throat> I'm going to, uh, the video doesn't have enough time to play this whole thing. This is a one hour and 19 minute full length documentary movie about Monsanto and all the dangers that go along with what they've done to these seeds and what they do to us when we eat them, what they do to the animals when they eat them and we eat the animals, you know, the domino principle that I mentioned. It is imperative to me, to you, to everyone. Watch this video in entirety. Don't speed it up. Skip past it. Make you some popcorn or something. Sit down and take the time to watch this because you have to eat. We're in a rock and a hard place. We have to have food. So we're going to be eating this stuff and not knowing it. And when illnesses start cropping up, we need to understand what's going on within our own bodies. I'm going to include this link because this is actually coming from this site here, World Health News. Apparently, it's found on YouTube also. So. You can either go there, I guess. It might be, this might be the site here. Countdown to zero, I'm not sure. I haven't watched it on YouTube. But I'll put this site down as the link. You can come and see that. You can not watch it. Or you can watch it and understand it. Folks, we're getting our all out of salt from everywhere. We're getting our food, we're getting our water. We're getting chemtrails and metals and stuff put in the air. The sun has just uh, awakened. The sleeping giant who was slumbering and not doing much has awakened. And it's had four X-class flares in the last two weeks and I'm fixing to do a video on that to get you updated on the Grand Solar Maximum and how it's starting to kick in. But everybody out there who's asleep, you need to wake up. You need to get them. You need to tell them. It's hard to believe, but it's true. And if you care about yourself, your body, the workings of it, those of your relatives, loved ones, wife, children, etc. Those within the whole world, you'll understand why you need to see this. So I'll include that link. And I hope everybody got to take a little time off on this weekend. God bless everyone. I'll speak to you real soon.